Hola y bienvenidos. Yo soy Sinara Nelson y estoy aquí para ayudarles in your mastery of the Spanish language. Now, today I'm going to share something I've already alluded to. Before I do that, please hit like and subscribe. No sé por qué, pero me ayuda. It helps me out. Entonces, por favor, que me ayudes. And I want to continue our conversation about how to effectively talk to a native speaker. Now, again, I want to speak about something I've already alluded to, which is Shakespeare. Now, as a former actress way back in the day, decades ago, our high school would perform some Shakespeare play every single year. We would change the decade. We would change costumes, outfits, all of that. However, it was always a Shakespeare play. And the rule of thumb for any Shakespeare play is give it 15 minutes. What does that mean? That means you arrive at this play and the actor starts. It could be Hamlet, Romeo and Juliet, uh, Taming of a Shrew, whatever, right? You're there and all of a sudden you're like, okay, they're speaking English and yet I have no idea what they're saying. And you paid money for these tickets and you don't understand them and you feel like you're pretty good at English because you've been speaking it your entire life. ¿Qué te pasó? ¿Verdad? Give it 15 minutes. Sin saber. Honestly, you have no idea it even happens. Pero poco a poco, all of a sudden you understand everything. Poco a poco, you're there and you're like, oh. Oh, está bien. I understand everything. I totally know what's going on. And by the end, you're so engrossed in the play, you don't even notice that they're speaking weird English that no one ever uses. What is that? Our brains take a little time, right? They're not, well, they're accustomed to something, right? And if they're not accustomed to something, it takes a little time to adjust. We're not accustomed to hearing people speak the way that they do in Shakespeare plays. Gracias a Dios, right? In the same way, you are accustomed to hearing, interpreting, and using a certain language. And if you're watching my videos, my assumption is that that language, tal vez, is probably English. Which means, if you switch to el español, or cualquier idioma, it's going to take your brain a little time to kind of catch up and figure out what's going on. It'll do it. You've been studying Spanish, you've been working at it, you've been practicing it, you've been really trying to acquire it and master it. Your brain's there. The information is there. Again, trust yourself, effective filter, right? Trust yourself, get the meaning, all of that. But give yourself time. Give it the Shakespeare rule. If you are immersed in Spanish and you're like, I am so lost, <sighs> breathe. Take it all in, soak it all in. Give yourself, give yourself an hour. But honestly, I bet in 15 minutes, you'll start to kind of figure out what people are saying. And honestly, this has happened to me countless times. I was plopped into Honduras. And I remember I went by myself to this class that figures out like personalities and stuff. And I'm sitting in this class. I'm so exhausted because I had to wake up early and I don't know, I was super tired. And I'm sitting there and my poor brain was like, I'm way too tired to work. And I didn't understand what anyone was saying. So I was just drawing pictures on my paper. And poco a poco, without even realizing it, my brain started to adjust and started to figure out, oh, this isn't English. This is full immersion Spanish. And even without me wanting to, my brain figured out what was going on, started to understand everyone's conversations, and I was totally fine by the end. Give yourself the Shakespeare rule. Don't stress about not understanding it. Let your brain figure out what's going on and let your brain go back into those files of Spanish three class last decade and kind of take out those files and start to remember and recall all of that information that's stored up there. Give yourself time. In the comments below, tell me your experiences with the Shakespeare rule in times that you were immersed somewhere and it did take some time to kind of relax, settle, and your brain to kind of figure out what was going on. I'll see you guys next week.